Life of it. Dads of Dads Entertainment. Yeah. I just said that. Check. Yeah. Well, well. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this is the life of a dad. I'm a father in the game like a dad. And I'ma show you the ropes like your dad. What, 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 what? The life of dads. <laughs> Yeah, this is the life of a dad. Tell him, tell I'm him. a father in the game like a dad. Uh-huh. And I'ma show you the ropes like your dad. What, 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 what yeah. life? Oh, hello, dads. sons and daughters. I'm your long lost father. This is what I do. Let me show Yo, what up, guys? This is Lord Hyder Dads from the Dad's Life YouTube channel. And today, we're diving into one of the topics that most dreadheads and most people with locks have a problem with. The seven most common mistakes made when growing dreadlocks. It's a very strong topic. Everybody always talking, what are the mistakes being made? If you look on it and look on the list, you're going to notice that some of these mistakes you're making too. I made them and this is just based on the knowledge of growing dreadlocks more than once and I'm sharing it with you. Number one, incorrect washing frequency. You usually wash your hair at least once a week or every other week depending on the hair texture depending on the type of hair you have and depending on how hard it is to lock with locks you have to be very careful because each time you wash you could be pulling out the lock so i suggest is either once a week or every other week so that is the incorrect washing frequency that's number one Number two is using the wrong products. Things like thick waxes or heavy oils that can cause buildup, that can hurt your scalp, that can also stop hair growth. It can also do a lot of bad things to your scalp, causing flakes and those type of things. And you have to be very careful of that with locks because it's easy to build, build up and have a lot of build up in your hair. And then it has a lot of residue as well. So you have to be careful of that. So that's number two. Using the wrong products. People also have the problem number three. Skipping maintenance. You have to be able to separate your locks. You also have to be able to make sure that it's, it's actually locking properly. Not getting too matted. There's such a thing as too matted. So you have to be careful of that. Careful of skipping maintenance. Even as simple as just separating loose hairs at the sides and those type of things is as simple as that, but it is very serious. So skipping maintenance is number three. Number four is uncontrolled frizz. You might want to do something like this using a light water spray on your locks just to get the frizz down or using certain essential oils, not too thick. Something like maybe um, hoyoba or castor oil and just spray it onto the locks so that there's a, you don't have too much frizz and you don't have too much extended hairs off the locks. That can be very annoying and it can not look good as well. So that's number four. Five to me is actually one of the most important one. Neglecting your scalp. You have to be able to use essential oils on your scalp. A lot of people, they are dealing with the locks, but they are not dealing with scalp health. Scalp health is very serious. You can end up have a lot of flakes. You can end up have dry scalp. You can end up have all these things. So you have to be able to treat your scalp properly. This is by using essential oils. The same like castor oil, that's my favorite. Using castor oil always helps with your scalp. Scalp health is a very important thing because scalp health deal with even your hair growth as well. So look out for it. You have to make sure you deal with your scalp health. I think it's one of the most important one, number five. Number six is over maintenance. Over maintenance and tightening your locks too much can actually be the most detrimental thing because it can actually lead to alopecia. Too much tightening is hurting your scalp. And I've known a lot of um, lock, um, lock hairdressers that their hand is very painful. They're doing it very tight because they want it to be neat. And because they want it to last long, it's doing very tight. And it actually is hurting your scalp. 
I believe that you should do a maintenance maybe once a month if if you have to do it or once every other month so that's once every two months and that is the type of scalp health you deal with you have to be careful with over maintenance over maintenance people always do it because they want it to look good they want it to look neat but be careful over maintenance is dangerous ignoring lock repairs Ignoring lock repairs is very serious because when you ignore lock repairs, you have to be careful. You ever seen some locks and you say up at the top, top is thick and then in the middle is thin and then down at the bottom is thick again? That's because you ignored lock maintenance. You, if, if you notice that your hair has actually been thinning in the middle, maybe you need to repair it and repair it before it gets too thin because it could end up breaking off. It could end up just look unsightly as well so you have to be careful of that ignoring lock maintenance i've seen it a lot in people's locks where the middle is very thin and then the, the end is thick uh, and then the top get thick again yeah because they ignored lock maintenance at a certain time so when you look you see you have it thin in the middle and it thinning and it, it can get extremely thin as well so you have to be careful of that those are the seven most common mistakes made with dreadlocks and i hope you enjoy this video like and subscribe this is lord high the dads you don't know remember for like and subscribe we're back at it again giving locks tips giving lock maintenance and showing you what is going on with my locks as well lock updates so look out feet always big up the fam always big up the people youtube fam big up yourself and make sure you're liking and subscribing, showing love as always. And if you have any questions, you hit me up in the comments. Bless up yourself every time. This is Lord Hyde the Dads from the Dads Life YouTube channel. Boom! Life of it. Dads of Dads Entertainment. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Well, well. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this is the life of a dad. I'm a father in the game like a dad